Welcome to this video on tools I use. Hi, my name is Eric, and in this episode, we're just going to look at how I browse objects. Uh, one of the advantages of when we all still worked in Seaside was the object browser, the object designer. It was Shift of 12, and then you had the tables and the pages and all that, and it was very, very easy and very organized. Um, and we don't have Seaside anymore, so. I've been asked a couple of times um, in the comments on what was that thing you used. And so I thought, hey, let me show you guys. So here we go. This is my Visual Studio Code. I have just added the, created the ALGO and I'm ready to, to go. What I've done is that I have connected my app to a Cloud Sandbox and a Docker image just to show you some of the differences. But the tool I want to show you is this one, the ASET AL Dev Tool slash AL Code Outline. And this thing is made by uh, Andres and it's awesome. I use it all the time. Um, it, it will do a lot of stuff. And most of this I'm actually not really using. I use the AL object wizards very much and I use the AL object browser. And, and that's the one I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on here today. So you just add this to your, uh, to your Visual Studio code and you're ready to go. Um, so the challenge is that after you install something, it might not be totally visible so where it is. So let me, let me show you. So in this case, I have downloaded from two different, I downloaded uh, symbols from two different uh, servers, both the cloud server and, uh, and a Docker image, just to show you that you're basically getting the same. In this case, I'm getting slightly different versions because my cloud sandbox is on 16.1 and my local Docker image is currently on 16.3. Um, but it's more or less the same. So what are we actually getting? So we're getting the three different symbols and and symbols packages and, and they're just called apps because that's in reality how we reference something else. So if we had, if I were to reference another actual app, I will also get an app file from that. But if I if I look at this, I get these files, and I can go to File Explorer and take a look at that. Let me just move it into place. These are just you know app files, uh, and if I open that with Seven Zip, because in reality an app file is also just it's on the other screen. Let me put it up here. An app file is just a zip file. We can get see that there are some logo layout and simple references and that's a bunch of JSONs and it's really hard to look at stuff like this uh, to find something. So what Andres did, which is awesome, is that inside Visual Studio Code, I can take the, let's start with the system application. Um, I can right click and say open in app, open app, open in AL object browser. And now I get something that closely resembles what we actually have in Seaside. I can see the tables, I can see the pages, the reports, there was only one in this case, XML reports, nothing, queries, a couple, code units, a whole bunch, and so on. Just like we were used to in in Seaside, this almost feel, feels like home. This is uh, what is known as the list view. So what I also can do is I can click three view, three view here, and then I get a more like a tree structure, if, if, if you prefer that. What's neat about the, the this view is that if I do select something, I get the symbols right away here. So uh, I don't have to click uh, to get the symbol, also, I, if I'm if I'm back in this one, I can right click, and I can open the symbols here and look at, at how they look. Um, so let's step back for just a second. So what is 
what is simples and what's the difference between simples and just an app so basically simples are the the public interface of an app meaning what objects is this app exposing and what properties are these objects exposing in this case it's a table so it's, it will expose fields and a key and a field group and that's about it there's one function get language id so that's that's the public interface not the implementation what we can do is that if i double click on this one we the this tool will actually go to the server to see if we have debug information on that object so i ask which server should we ask and we'll, we'll take the, the dog image it's quite fast we didn't get anything and that happens sometimes let's uh, let's ask the other one oops and i'm clicking and i'm clicking we didn't get anything else let's for because this is a the system app so let's for a minute take base app instead i open that one again it can take a couple of minutes so not a couple of minutes a couple of seconds to open uh because there's a lot of objects in base app so i'll do this again payment terms i'll try to select my own server and now I get the .dal, so the debug al file for this one. And I can see all the stuff that's there. This is just a normal object, nothing fancy, nothing special. Um, so if you're looking, you say, oh, what, what is the behavior of a certain field? Well, if it is a, is a field on the vendor table, you get the object, you find that uh, payment terms code and you can see oh it's updating the payment terms id so we'll find that and we can see that that goes back to the whole discussion about how multiple uh, keys on, on on the same thing um which this video is not about if you want to see that video uh, let me know in the comments below um but this is the tool I use all the time to kind of figure out what goes on in, in that. Like this morning, I, I had a, 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 uh, an ask from one of my colleagues, is there a variant in the production planning thingy? Uh, and, and what I did was go in here and put a filter on plan. I found the planning component. Um, I could actually just have done uh, open symbols uh, and in here I could do a filter and say variant and yes my friend there is a variant code field in the production planning component table so this is what I what I'm replacing that seaside object browsing experience with and for me this works very well this is awesome extension and just going back to back to this thing that let me just get rid of all these different thing here um, this is just something Andres is doing of the goodness of his heart this is an awesome thing and there's all sorts of, of neat features in here that Maybe actually I could use it sometimes, like the action image browser. So when you select an image, it will show you the, the, the image of it and, and stuff like that. But this is also the, the AL wizard thing. So create a new table uh, wizard. Let me actually show that one for the last thing. So I go here and say, I want to new AL file. I want to do a table and I want this to be an awesome asset demo. And ID one is a key field because we always need a key field. This should be a code, system metadata 20. Then number 10 should be a name, a text, not a table for text. Uh, still system metadata 100. Um, and then I'm always getting into the trouble of me covering my the corner with myself so i can click finish uh, i can click finish there we go and i'll just put myself back in the corner if i can get my mouse to that screen wow did you see that 
Wow, let's do that again. There we go. <laughs> okay, um, so now I got a table, which is awesome and fast. Um, so anyway, not to make this video too long, check out the ACL Dev Tools. It's awesome, and I use it all the time for the browser. I use it all the time for the uh, the, the wizards. Um, and if you like videos like this, go and subscribe to the channel, put a comment in below, follow me on Twitter, and then let me know if there's something else that you want me to take a look at, some of the other tools I use, um, and I'll do a video on those. Until next time, have fun.